Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to make a beach dune buggy that is scale for minifigures for today's Lego brick tutorial. Let's start with our chassis with a 2x10 plate. On the left hand side, I'm going to set down a 1x2 plate with two holders. Then I'm going to proceed on with a 2x2 plate. Then we're going to grab a 4x4 plate with two inverted 45 degree slopes. Place that as shown. Then we're going to proceed on with a 2x2 two two plate and a 1x2x1x2 one by two by one by two upwards angler plate on the right hand side. Back on the left, a pair of 2x2x2 two by two by two thirds plate with bearing. I'll place these right here, followed by a 2x4 plate. Next, a 1x4 plate right here and Two more two by two by two thirds plate with bearing. Take a one by two brick. We're going to place a one by two plate right on top. And I want to skip a set of studs right here. We're going to set this right next to our two by two plates with bearing. And then a pair of one by two bricks on both sides. Next, take a one by one brick with one stud. I'm going to place a one by one by two thirds sloped. It's facing this way, and I want to make two of these. I'm going to place one right here in this area. We're going to place this one right here. Then we're going to start working on our engine. Let's take one of these 2x2 two two engine scoop. Yes, that is in silver metallic. We're going to place this right here. And for dual exhaust, we're going to take a one by one brick with one stud. We'll place a nose cone on that. Place that right here. And we're going to make a second one. Place this in this one by one opening. And I want to lock these two assemblies together on the top with a pair of one by two plates. And for right here, a two by two dome with one stud. That finishes off the back of the engine and a set of two by two by two seats. Place these right here. For our side panels, take a one by four plate with two inverted 45 degree slopes. I'm gonna place a one by four plate with two studs right inside. And I wanna crown these off with a pair of one by one by two thirds slopes, and on the left hand side, a one by one plate with top holder. We're going to make two of these. Let's drop in our side panels to where they run right on top of the inverted 45 degree slopes. Let's also go around our wheels too. For the dashboard assembly, start with a 1x4 plate. I'm going to place a 1x3 jumper plate on the left hand side and a 1x1 plate on the right hand side. And I want to crown this off with a 1x1x2 slope. Take a 1x2 rocker bearing and a 1x2 rocker bearing plate, place it on. I want to have this side here facing towards us. We're going to set this right on top of the 1x3 jumper plate and on the right hand stud a little gauge and on this one right here a 2x2 two two steering wheel console. This works great for a tilt wheel. Now let's set our dashboard assembly right in this area right on top of that 1x4 raised plate. Next, take a 1x4 plate, right in the center, let's stack a pair of 1x2 plates and a pair of 1x1x2 thirds plate with holes. This is going to be our headlight assembly. Let's install our headlight support right here and we're going to take a 2x3 brick with bow, we're going to place that right there. For the front body corner, start with a 1x2x2 two two corner plate. I'm going to take a 1x2 angler wedged 
plate with bow. We're going to place this right here. And on this stud, a one by one plate and a one by two by two thirds plate with bow. Now I want to make a mirror of this, set that off to the side. And we're going to do the same thing again with another one by two by two corner plate and a one by two by two thirds wedge plate with bow. Then on this stud right here, one by one plate and a one by two by two thirds plate with bow. Let's take our left support. We're going to place this right in this area. Just sets right down. Place this one on the right hand side. For headlights, we're going to take a stud with a side stick and a transparent round one by one flat tile. We're going to place it on as shown. I want to make two of these and I'm going to set these right down in these holes in the one by one by two thirds brick. This is going to keep our headlights firmly attached. I'm going to take one of these guards. We're going to place this right on these holders. Snaps right in place. We'll swing that up. Gives the front a nice contour. Let's take a 2x4 plate. We're going to make the rear upper portion of our dune buggy. We're going to crown this off with a 2x4 flat tile. I want to flip this over and I want to set in a set of 1x2x2 by two by two corner plates where they're hanging over as shown. I want to flip this back over. Now I want to note the orientation. And these studs right here, a set of 1x1 one one flat tiles, and then the other remaining studs, a pair of 1x1 one one plates with top holder. Let's set our upper rear body right here. We're going to set this right on top of our inverted 45 degree slopes and on our 1x2 plates. For the rear, let's start with a 2x4x2 two thirds plate with bow. I'm going to flip this over right here in the center. A 1x2 plate and a set of transparent red 1x1 one one plates. These are going to be the rear brake lights. And in this area, a 1x6 plate. Now I want to flip the assembly over. We're going to take some 1x2 angular wedge 1x2 plates with bow. Place one on both left and right hand sides. Let's take our rear body with brake lights. We're going to set this right here, right above the engine to complete the body. For the roll cage assembly, we're going to take a stick that takes a 3.2 hole. I'm going to take a 3.2 stick with the holder. I'm going to place it as shown. I'm going to make two of these and then I'm going to take a six stud long 3.2 stick. We're going to place the other one on the other side. And for a little center support, we're going to start with one of these holders that take a 3.2 stick. Now we're going to make two of these. Now we're going to take a 3 stud long 3.2 stick, place it in this end, and I'm going to join our other piece as shown. Let's install a roll cage. I'm going to start right here in the front two holders. I'm going to place this in. Just snap right in place. And we're going to do this side here. Just drop right in place. And yeah, things look a little bit rickety right now, but that's because we haven't locked it all in yet. And once we do, we can adjust this as needed. Usually these things are tipped back a little bit right there. Looks pretty good. Make sure everything is lined up. And for tires, we're going to take a wide rim that is in silver metallic. We're going to place a 
low profile tire on there. Now it depends on which way you want your tires to face. I'm going to have it to where the lug nuts are facing out. I'm going to place these on our bearing plates. I'm just going to make four of these and just populate each one of these with a tire. I mean, you can't go driving around on the beach without tires. <laughs> Well, this one doesn't want to go on. We'll start with that one there. We'll put this one here. Sometimes it's hard to line up these things a bit. And there we go. Complete the beach dune buggy.